Hi, welcome back to Trade with Kiwi. In this video, we look at movements of the object and the camera itself. This video is pretty much a showcase of my pull request, which makes the already present basic light controllable from Python. The API is a fresh thing. It might change later or do something else, or it might be not accepted at all. To make things like this possible, you have to play with GLSL, which is another language similar to C. But the point is basically this. You have some values, let's say positions, you pass them to an environment which the shader can use. For us is the renderer, which is basically Kiwi's frame buffer object, but in Kiwi directly, it might be even the canvas itself. When you have the values in the environment, you get them to shader, as the uniform type, and work with that. You can find more about it somewhere else. It's definitely harder than common Python stuff. First, correct rotation to the right and to the left so that you can see the light smoothly. There is only a single light available for now, accessible through renderer.mainlight. It looks like the light shining through a pinhole, especially if you start to play with its intensity. You can move the light with changing mainlight.pos in 3D space and change light's intensity with mainlight.intensity, which is a float, but don't worry, even if it's just an integer, the conversion is handled in the light file. Let's make some obvious keywords and jump right to the keyboard listener. For that, we'll use NumPad. If you have a laptop, that should be accessible through some kind of FN key near the Ctrl and Alt. I have no clue if there is such thing on Macbook, but you can change your key codes to something more comfortable or use the buttons.
our single plane easily enough, so we need to create more. Obviously, I'm not going to copy stuff again, as we already have a lot of lines because of the cubes. Let's make a list with changes to the default position and rotation and then create meshes from it. Also, we'll need some panel with buttons to access the light even there. So let's create our light panel in Q language. Let it be a box layout, as it doesn't require anything at all to behave in a way we want it, which means horizontally aligned widgets just from typing at the box layout. I noticed something strange when rotating, missing planes, so I checked again only to find out that I forgot to rewrite the last three pulse words to something else, which means that the three planes were placed somewhere far away.
Now it looks better. Let's play with the light's intensity. As you can see, the light is by default positioned at 0, 0 in the lower left corner, like basically everything in Kiwi. Let's add the buttons to our panel. We use already created structure for the grid layout. Now you can see what I press on the panel to change the light. Intensity is at the L- and L- plus buttons, the rest is position. The ugly part of my recording software finally gets to be also as it shows rough transitions between the circles of the light, so you can see where it actually is. In the real application, the light is much much smoother.
So this is all for now. You can find the code in my GitHub. Leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments down below. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave like if you enjoyed this one. Bye until the next time.